So Circe is a joint mission between the uh, US and the UK. So on, on our side, it, it's uh, run out of DSTL, and the US, uh, we have the involvement from the Naval Research Laboratories. The, the purpose of the mission is going to be to study the effects of the sun on the ionosphere and to uh, provide some measurements that can help our modelling of that environment. So understanding the ionosphere is really important uh, for a number of military applications, for things like GPS, for communications applications and for uh, certain uh, applications in, ob in observing the Earth. Our research programme for space started in 2017 um, and this is the uh, first mission where we're actually putting some DSTL payloads with a Department of Defence uh, collaboration partner into space um, and so this really makes it uh, quite considerably a DSTL satellite. So this has been a really important journey for us in building the expertise within DSTL to conduct experiments in space. Uh, but also the collaboration with our US partners and the, the learning journey we've been on in terms of building up that capability uh, to support MOD's aspirations for space in the future. Now the satellites themselves, there's two satellites and within each satellite there will be identical payloads both in the, the lead satellite and the follow satellite. There will be three payloads uh, from the UK which are the IRIS payloads and the US are providing uh, a payload called TRITIP, which has been produced by the Naval Research uh, Laboratories. In terms of industry, uh, the satellite itself is built by a US company called Blue Canyon Technologies. Um, and for the payloads, uh, for the UK, we've had three partners in building the three different payloads that are going to go on this satellite. One is the University of Bath. The second is uh, UCL's Mullard Space Science Laboratory and the third is SSTL. 